Hello, I'm Dave Llewellyn. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Former President Jimmy Carter is back in the hospital. Carter is being treated for a urinary tract infection in South Georgia. This comes less than a week after he was released from the hospital following an operation to relieve pressure on his brain. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth now with a check of your 7 First Alert forecast. General rule to start the week is cool and cloudy. We got that out, out there right now with temperatures in the 30s and wind chills in the 20s. Tomorrow it's just 38. There's about a 30% chance for some snow showers in the afternoon. The worst of it, I think, is the dusting on the roads, but that's not very likely. Just slow down. Some of it may linger into the evening rush hour. Flurries Wednesday, still 36. It's a little warmer and a little brighter as we get to the weekend. All right, Dave, thanks. A man locked up in Detroit is charged in the death of his own brother. The victim and two others went to pick up the suspect at the Cranbrook Motel on James Cousins Thanksgiving Day. After they tried to get into his room, 30-year-old Willie Howard allegedly fired a gun. His 18-year-old brother was hit. He later died at the hospital. Howard is charged with manslaughter and careless discharge of a firearm. His bond is set at $100,000. December 2nd marks three years since the disappearance of Danielle Stizlicki. The Farmington Hills woman vanished on December 2nd, 2016 after leaving her job at MetLife in Southfield. Her whereabouts are still unknown, but a former security guard at her office is charged in her murder. 32-year-old Floyd Galloway is accused of killing Danielle in his Berkeley home. His trial is set to begin next month. Galloway is currently serving time for the attempted rape of a jogger in Hines Park. Those are your 7 Action News headlines. We have these stories much more on our website, WXYZ.com, and on our app. Have a great night.